March is Women's History Month, and to mark this special occasion, we are talking to three very special women who each enlisted in the Air Force and have attained the highest enlisted grade of Chief Master Sergeant. Joining us now are Alexis, Mattia, and Tiffany. Thank you all so much for joining us. Alexis, we'll start with you. Why the military? Well, my mom instilled in us kind of those values that align with the military of service, excellence, and integrity, so it was an easy transition to be able to give back in this way. Mattia, tell us about your degrees and certifications. So for me, ma'am, I have uh, several certifications. Some accredited to the Air Force, but I do have a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration with a minor in healthcare. Um, we are working on our PMP right now, too. So I'm trying to get another project management certification underway soon. We know you will do it because so far everything you've set your mind to, you have accomplished. Tiffany, we heard Alexis say her mom inspired her. Who inspired you? Oh my gosh, to come into the military, I was a part of the Junior ROTC uh, program here at Montgomery, Alabama, and they really inspired me to, to come into the service and to give back. So that is why I ended up joining. Do you feel like you faced additional obstacles as women? At times, perhaps sometimes that voice of women can be muted, but I'm very grateful for the service because it, it brings forth that diversity and inclusion, those pieces that make it so important that we all have a voice. So I'm very grateful for the service for that. Maybe young women, girls out there watching today, what do you want to say to them? So young girls that look just like me, I'm originally from Tulane Court, and I know that we've been counted out before we even started. And I just want to let people know that it's possible. With God, all things are possible. Have a plan, work towards it, and stay steadfast. If you dream it, you can do it. You just have to put in the work, right, Tiffany? Yes, and then they are enough. Just to remember, they are enough. If they come into whatever branch of service that they choose to, they may think that is bigger than them, but letting them know, like um, Natalia said, they are enough. Do you feel a sense of pride standing here today, looking back on all that hard work and all that you've accomplished? absolute pride. I never thought I'd be here, but I'm so grateful to stand here. And so I'd say to young women, you can do it. There is no ceiling. Just break through it if you believe there is one. You've given so much to the military and to our country. What has it given to you? It's given me everything. A sense of pride, a sense of belonging, sisters to my left and my right. I have these sisters in uniform and out. So the relationships that you build are lifelong relationships. And I'm giving to myself, to the service of my country. The country has given me a lot. What do you look forward to in your career? Um, to continue to break doors, um, ceilings, to ensure that those who said we can't, we can, and to kind of be that marksman that, to show that we can. So hopefully I can be that, that beacon of hope to whomever think that little girl that, again, looked like us or maybe not even look like us, um, that they can to do it. Why would you encourage someone else to join the military, to do what you did? Oh, indeed. Um, it, it's a wonderful start. It, it allows you to explore. Uh, so get out there. Don't be afraid. You know, kill, kill your fear and just do what your heart and your values are leading you to do. You have done that and it has created so much success for you all. We thank you so much for joining us here on Alabama Live and for your service. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.